Nobody likes to hear that they have a sexually transmitted infection, but at the end of the day, it's worth it because your conscience will be clear. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another exciting episode of Pillow Talk with Dr. O. You already know that to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Anyway, I'm excited to have you guys here with me as always. And today we're switching things up a little bit. Yeah, that's what I said. We're switching things up. We're taking it up a notch because we're going to be discussing something very interesting and quite controversial today. So I'm going to need you to be very interactive, right? Give me what you think, give me your opinion, right? There's no right or wrong answer. Though there is an ethical answer, but I mean, share your opinions, let me know what you think, and let me know if your opinion changes after watching this video. I was reading this story about a woman that um, tested positive for HIV. So she's actually married, right? She's newly wedded and um, she got pregnant and went for antenatal. And it was during prenatal testing that it was discovered that she actually tested positive for HIV. Now the thing is, the doctors advised that she should just, you know, find a way to tell her husband about it and everything. But the woman is like, no way, not in hell. Like she's not even to mention to her husband that she has HIV. So of course, you know, she's um, taking antiretroviral therapy and all that, you know, they place on antiretroviral therapy. So basically it was a discussion, right? A discussion on the forum and people had different views. Some people were of the opinion like, why? Why would you have an STI and not tell your partner about it? Especially when your partner is your husband, like, that's totally wicked. Some other people were, were like, why would she tell her husband? Because if she tells her husband, he might start blaming her. He might say that she got it while she was sleeping around. You know, he might not take it well, right? Because we all know that some men don't take things well. Basically, the whole comment section of that article was they were divided. There were people for the woman saying, yes, she did the right thing by not telling her husband. And there were also people that were like, no, this is not right. If you test positive for a sexually transmitted infection, you need to let your partner know, right? So let me know which of those school of thoughts you belong to. Do you tell your partner or do you not tell your partner if you test, I mean, if you find out that you have a sexually transmitted inf infection, what would you do? So here is my take on this, right? I know things are easier said than done, but that doesn't change the fact that the truth is the truth, right? So here's my take on this. You test positive for a sexually transmitted infection. So the question is, should you or should you not tell your partner? I know some people are going to want to shoot me after this response, but the truth is, you owe it to your partner to let your partner know that you tested positive for a sexually transmitted infection. I know some people are going to be like, why should I tell my partner? How am I sure that my partner didn't give it to me? But what if your partner did not give it to you, right? And even if your partner gave it to you, he may or she may have done it or knowingly. They might not even know they have a sexually transmitted infection. Actually, a lot of men, they don't usually have symptoms when they have most of these sexually transmitted infections. Of course, some of them have symptoms, but there are some sexually transmitted infections that men actually are asymptomatic. This means they don't show any symptoms. So it's usually the women that have symptoms, right? So the, your partner may not have known that he or she had a sexually transmitted infection. So you owe it to your partner to let them know that you got a sexually transmitted infection, right? Because think about it this way. If your partner had a sexually transmitted infection, how would you feel if they didn't let you know about it? So for example, they were getting treatment and then they left you all in the dark and you were not getting treatment and the infection was killing you slowly. You wouldn't like it, right? I thought so too. So like I said, we're not judging anybody and it's easier said than done, but we have to talk about what is ethical and what is actually right. So that's my number one response. Number two, think about it this way. When you discover you have a sexually transmitted infection, you can get treated easily. And most STIs are actually treatable. It's only a few that, you know, last for a lifetime, but even those that last for a lifetime, there are treatments available, you know, that can help to give you your best life even while you live with it. It's kind of unfair for you to be treating yourself leave your partner in the dark and then your partner is just dying slowly with the infection not even knowing that they are carrying an infection 
we don't know who infected who that's not the topic for today but the most important thing is that there is an infection and the infection needs to be treated if you are treating yourself it's only fair that you let your partner know so they can treat themselves as well then lastly just think about it this way even if that partner is not your spouse and maybe it's just someone that you're dating or in a relationship with right and maybe you're just thinking mm, let me go and treat myself home and i'm going to just break up with this person like that and you know take a walk what if your partner goes ahead to date someone else and spread the infection to that person and maybe that person might actually be your loved one you don't know or the person dates someone else that might date your future partner and then the infection comes back to you how about that you wouldn't like that right so infections can actually spread in a vicious cycle you know when there is community spread and it spreads from person to person you never know when you're going to come around knocking on your door again so you feel like oh you've treated yourself but before you know it you have that infection right back at you and another thing is if you don't take a walk but you decide that okay i'm going to continue staying with my partner and you're treating yourself and the partner doesn't get treated guess what's going to happen your partner is going to eventually infect you because how are you going to explain not having sexual intercourse with your partner after you've been having regular sexual intercourse all of a sudden just like mm, no person is going to suspect that okay what's wrong what's going on here you know so if you intend to continue having sexual intercourse with that partner just know that your treatment is a waste of time because your partner is going to reinfect you so it's always very important when you have an sti that your partner gets treated so you don't get reinfected either directly or indirectly right and think about it this way if my partner had an sti and did not tell me i would feel bad about it i would be angry and i definitely would not want that to happen to me so if you don't want someone to do that to you then it's always nice to do unto others as you have others do unto you or as you want others to do unto you that's the golden rule right and like i said before it's easier said than done so i'm not pointing fingers here and i'm not saying telling your partner that you have an sti is going to be the easiest thing in the world it's easier said than done but what are some of the ways you can let your partner know that you have an sti right because that can be the most difficult thing especially for partners that are not very understanding they might start thinking a lot of things like oh maybe this person has been sitting around oh you might have gotten the infection from them but then they'll blame you for the infection saying you gave them all those kind of things a lot of people don't like those kind of drama so one way you can do it is just do a surprise medical checkup for you and your partner both of you go for a medical checkup in a new lab and everything and let both of you receive your results together that way both of you get your sti results at the same time so nobody knows who infected who everybody's going to be like no you infected me you infected me at the end of the day you both got the results at the same time so you both go ahead and get treated and resolve it amongst yourself another way in some countries they have this um, method where partners of um, people that have sexually transmitted infection especially when they are contagious there's this anonymous notification system or anonymous text messages system where the partners the sexual partners of those people infected will get a text message that they've been infected with a sexually transmitted infection but they won't say by who or anything like that so they won't disclose you know the person that infected them or anything like that so they'll just notify them so that they can come and get tested and start getting treatment and all that so if you live in a country that has that that's great you can take advantage of that so that works alternatively if you are someone that has an understanding partner or you're just bored like that then you can take the bold step and have the talk with your partner face to face sit them down make sure you prepare a lovely meal or if you're a guy and you cannot cook make sure you take your partner out to dinner spoil her take her shopping then at the end of the day now tell her i have something very important to discuss with you and then you know slowly break it down start with how maybe you just went for an annual checkup and this was discovered or you noticed some symptoms and you decided to go and check them out and this was discovered right and you don't know how this came about but you want to let your partner know because you care about them and you need them to also get tested so if they have a sexually transmitted infection they too can also get treatments right trust me it is not going to be easy nobody likes to hear that they have a sexually transmitted infection but at the end of the day it's worth it because your conscience will be clear that at least 
be told your partner. Now, however, your partner takes it is really up to your partner. But if your partner is understanding, they should be thankful to you that you even told them so they could get treatment. Hey, the world is unfair. Some people might take it the wrong way and, you know, go crazy. But what can you do, right? You have no control over people's actions or emotions, but you have control over yours. So the most important thing is that you discovered your infection and you're treating it and you'll be fine. So if you have any questions about how to treat sexually transmitted infections, symptoms of sexually transmitted infections, questions on anything we discuss on this show, you already know, shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Like I always say, your sexual health is as important as your general health and well-being. And this is what this show is all about. So see you next week. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Bye-bye.